Every year on 29th August we celebrate the feast of Saint Euphrasia of Elwethinger. Euphrasia was born on 17th October 1877 in Cherpukaran Elwethinger family in Kattur village Thrissur district Kerala. She was baptized in the Mother of Carmel Church at Thiruthi and was given the name Rose. Her mother's deep devotion to the Virgin Mary and taught her to pray say the rosary and be devoted to mother mary she grew up with great desire practice the virtues to suffer for jesus and to be holy rose dedicated to us her virginity to god at the early age of 9 rose wanted to be a religious sister and commit her entire life to god rose was the eldest child of her family Her father opposed as he wanted to arrange Rose marriage to a prosperous family seeing her resolve as well as the rather sudden death of her younger sister brought about a change of heart in her father finally relented himself a combined to join a convent her father took her to the boarding house of the carmelist sisters at kunamav In spite of being very happy and satisfied in the boarding of sisters, Rose had to wait about 9 years to enter the religious life. Because of her ill health, twice she had to go home for treatment and return. Once she was sick unto death, but the holy family Jesus, Mary and Joseph appeared to her and healed her. So they accepted her because of piety modesty discipline life and obedience at the redivision of the zero malabar vigari at kerala at the instruction of mark john menanjeri rose was brought with the other candidates to ambalkad the first convent of the undivided richus diocese she became an apostolate on 1897 and on 10th january 1898 she took the name euphrasia the heart of jesus and offered herself fully to her lord on 24th may 1900 during her blessing of the founded convent at olur after she took her perpetual vows she was appointed assistant to the novice mistress On 1913 she was made mother superior of St Mary's convent Olur. She lived her rest of her life as a mother superior until 1916. For almost 48 years the convent of St Mary's was home to Euphrasia, observing her life of prayer and holiness. The local people called her the praying mother. and her sisters in community referred to her as mother tabernacle because the divine presence she kept within her life she was totally dedicated to love and was continually consoled by the crucified lord euphrasia was first to humble herself and accept suffering she installed the statue of jesus at the center of the convent She prayed and conversed with the Lord for a long time. Whenever she received each little kindness, she would reply, "I will not forget it even after death." She prayed every day before the blessed sacrament for the Holy Father, bishops, priests, and other religious. praying of rosary and seeking the powerful intercession of mother mary she used to help the souls in purgatory at the age of her 75 she felt sick and was bedridden for 3 days having to receive the sacrament of anointing of sick on 29th august 1952 she was called for her internal reward Her tomb at the convent has become a pilgrimage site as miracles have been reported by some of the faithful. People began to visit her tomb and seek her help for their various needs. On December 3, 2006, she was beatified in St. Anthony's Church, Olur, Thrissur, with the declaration of the major archbishop 
വർക്കി വിധേയത്തിൽ ഓൺ ബിഹാഫ് ഓഫ് പോപ്പ് ബെനഡിക്ട് സിക്സ്റ്റീൻ ഫ്രാസിയ വാസ് കനൈസ്ഡ് ആസ് എ സെയിൻറ്റ് ബൈ പോപ്പ് ഫ്രാൻസിസ് ഓൺ ട്വൻറ്റി തേർഡ് നവംബർ ടു തൗസൻഡ് ഫോർട്ടീൻ ഇൻ വർദ്ധിക്കാൻ സിറ്റി സെൻറ്റ് എഫ്രാസിയ ബിക്കേം ദ ഫിഫ്ത് ബ്ലെസ്ഡ് സെയിൻറ്റ് ഓഫ് ഇന്ത്യ ലെറ്റ് എസ് സീക്ക് ഹെർ ഇൻറ്റർസെഷൻസ് ആൻഡ് പ്രേ ഫോർ അവർ നീഡ്സ് സെയിൻറ്റ് എഫ്രാസിയ പ്രേ ഫോർ അസ്